Hey YouTube, what's happening? How's it going? Uh, wow, so I'm just at work and uh, I saw there was another draw today. A surprise draw, 7,000 candidates. Uh, the cutoff's now 484. Um, I think this is some great news for a lot of people. Um, I'm just at work today, as you can see, there's a, a flag flying, a huge Canadian flag flying up uh, in the corner there. Um, and I thought it'd be fitting for this video. So guys, 484, great news for everyone who got uh, invited. This is the second draw they've done with 7,000 candidates. I think um, Canada has a lot more to do. Uh, there's a lot of people still waiting. Um, you know, for everyone that's got 480 points, 475 points, these are some great candidates, you know, some people maybe have masters, some people are probably, you know, under 30, so they get the maximum points. Maybe they've got the maximum points in IELTS and, you know, they haven't been selected yet. So I think Canada need to keep pushing. They need to, uh, you know, keep making these drastic steps. The issue is that there's no pattern, right? So there's been a 7,000 draw, I think last week, a 7,000 draw today. Um, and realistically, the, you know, they might switch back to PNP. No one knows. They might switch back to um, doing FSW, and or they might just take a break like they did before, and, and and take two weeks off or three weeks off, and then and then more people come into the pools, the points go higher again. Then we have to start back from 500 down. I think no one wants that. Um, I'm really hoping this time Canada keep pushing. I'm hoping that they. Um, they keep doing big draws and uh, helping everyone out. You know, I know um, they announced that they were going to extend, uh, I think, postgraduate um, work permits, which is great for those select people. Um, anyone that's, you know, 484 and above, great for those people. But anyone that's below, you know, there's uh, still 200,000 plus people waiting in Express Entry. Um, I think there's at least 100,000 people with 400 and above CRS points. Um, I think, you know, a lot of these candidates, even below, it doesn't really matter. Everyone is credible. Everyone's in the pools for a reason. Everyone's waiting for certain reasons, whether they're inside Canada or outside of Canada. Everyone has their own circumstances. So hopefully they keep doing this, guys. I promised in my last video that I was going to make uh, a video every time that they come out with um, a new draw and so that's why I'm here today I want to keep doing it I want to document the whole process um, getting a phone call comes sorry guys I had a random phone call that came through there I am at work so work phone calls everything's going off at the minute so yeah Canada let's keep pushing let's keep pushing the draws let's up it you know 7,000 is great that's 14,000 total since last week and this week um, you know, I think it's good numbers. I think um, it's not as good as before. I think they can do a lot more. I remember the uh, 2021 when they dropped the points to 75, invited 20,000 people in one go. I think that was great. But that was a few years ago. And I think there's a lot more people waiting in the pools now than there was then. So there's a lot more competition. The points have been higher. We need Canada to really help us out on this one. Either extend work permits, drop the uh, points, keep it, keep putting 7,000 candidates um, every, every week rather than stopping or waiting two weeks or you know because if you think about it guys two draws per month really isn't much um, in the grand scheme of things uh, where people are going to be waiting around for years months I know people waiting you know been one and a half years other people waiting six months and this takes a lot of time and puts a lot of pressure on people so um, fingers crossed guys let's see what they do in the next ones and um, I'll be back here making another video again. Uh, let's see where it goes uh, into next week. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. And let's see what the points drop to next time. And hopefully it's even better news for everybody on that one. See you soon.